My name is William. Uh, God bless you. Thank this you. Awesome Your name's time. William too? Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I'm a marketing major in philosophy. It's interesting because you said Christianity brought you to philosophy. Philosophy brought me to Christianity. Wow. It's been an awesome experience. And right now as a marketing major, I'm just trying to see how I can serve the Lord. And I mean, I would love to be in a position, you know, one day as you are just going to these prestigious colleges and speaking. Good. And just, you know, representing the Lord in a way that is intellectual and loving. And I guess the question is, like, how do you find time for rest? While all these people are asking you to speak, I mean, how do you find, like, time with your wife? And, like, you know, even, like, as yeah. a college student, it's hard to find rest. Like, how, how do you personally yeah. be able to, like, get the Sabbath? And you know, um, when Jan and I decided to go to graduate school and begin my studies, we knew that it would be a tremendous strain on our marriage and on our relationship and that we didn't want that to happen. We didn't want to live divided lives. And so I said, I'm going to make a commitment to you to set aside time to spend with you and not study during that time. What, what would you like? And she said, I don't want you to study at night or on the weekends. And I said, do you, do you understand what you're asking me to do? <laughs> and, and, and she said, yeah, that's, that's what I'd like, is that don't study in the evenings or on the weekends. That, that will be our time. And I said, all right, I, that's what I will do. I will make this commitment to you. And uh, if I get C's, that's fine. I'll take my C's, but that's going to be your time. And so that was what we did, not only through seminary, but also on through two doctoral degrees. Uh, and God honored that commitment by having a relationship now that has lasted for 40 years. Uh, and uh, and a, a productive life of scholarship. It, it's not as though <laughs> my academic career has been hurt for, for this. Uh, I, I, I think if you make that kind of commitment, set those kind of priorities, you become very efficient with the time that you do have. Um, and so that's what I do. And we, we still set aside that kind of time for uh, recreation. I still don't study in the evenings. Uh, we spend that together. Uh, of course, during times when there were, say, final exams or something like that, she would then feel free to say to me, I want you to take this Saturday and study, you know, get ready for your exams. And I would do it then. But she had the freedom to give that gift back to me. So it's a matter of setting priorities and then sticking to them, I think. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All the best, brother. <laughs>